Hello guys, Rachel here of Archaeologists. Today, we're gonna do the short unboxing and also reviewing the Be Quiet Dark Rock Elite Air Cooler. Let's do the unboxing. Inside the box, you will find the screwdriver, a box that contains the user's manual, the Intel backplate, brackets, screws, spacers, and thermal grease, and lastly, the Be Quiet Dark Rock Elite air cooler itself. Let's go to the specifications and features. The Be Quiet Dark Rock Elite has dimensions 145 by 136 by 168 millimeters with a weight of 1.34 kilograms. The Dark Rock Elite is one of the newest air coolers in the Dark Rock series. As with the previous series, it comes in all black color scheme. At the top, you will find a plastic border, a mesh one, and the one with the Be Quiet logo, which has RGB lighting around it. When you remove the plastic border, you will find a switch for the quiet and performance mode that affects the fan speed of the two fans. The middle fan like the Dark Rock Pro 5 has a frame that can make the installation easy without using any fan clips. The fan in the middle is a silent wing fan with a size of 135mm and a speed of 1500 and 2000 RPM in quiet and performance mode. The fan can be connected through the 4-pin connector and a proprietary connector to the outer fan. This frame also has a 3-pin ARGB connector to control the RGB lighting. The outer fan is also a silent wings fan with a size of 135mm and has the same speed as the inner fan in both quiet and performance modes. It needs to be connected to the proprietary connector to turn on. What's unique about this is that it doesn't use any fan clips. It uses a rail system to adjust the height easily and can be adjusted up to 5 height positions to adjust for your memory modules needed clearance. The front heat sink of this dual tower cooler has cutouts to provide clearance for your memory modules. The heat sinks of this cooler have a ceramic coating treatment, and if you look closely, both of the heat sinks have a little bit of curvature to give it a modern look. The same as the Dark Rock Pro 5, the Dark Rock Elite mounting plate is pre attached and still uses tension screws. This cooler has 7 heat pipes, and each of the heat pipes is 6mm in diameter. The base plate is made from copper and has a nickel finish to it. Let's install the air cooler.
Here are my final thoughts. The Dark Rock Elite is the newest flagship cooler from Be Quiet, and they are adding a little hint of RGB lighting to their coolers, which means they are slowly giving in to their customers who wants RGB lighting. The RGB lighting of the cooler is minimal, but it's a great accent, so it's not overboard and doesn't take the premium and classy look of the cooler. Performance-wise, and compared to the newest coolers from the other brands like Thermal Right and Deep Cool that has been the talk for quite some time now, the Dark Rock Elite performs better. Although it's a small difference in temperatures, but even at performance mode, the Dark Rock Elite is quieter than the rest. The difference between the Dark Rock Pro 5 and the Dark Rock Elite is also minimal, but I think the factor here will be the aesthetics and RGB lighting. So choosing between the two will base on what you want to have, but for me, the Dark Rock Elite is much better. Installation is also straightforward and easy. The front fan is using a rail system. I won't experience the same problems when trying to install a fan with fan clips, as it sometimes pinches my skin as I have big fingers. Overall, the Be Quiet Dark Rock Elite has a good build quality, good performance, and still has a stealthy and premium look for an air cooler that we used to love for dual power coolers, which are mostly what people like to buy nowadays. So I can say I can recommend you buying one. You can buy the Be Quiet Dark Rock Elite for around the price of $114.90. Or 6,400 pesos at your nearest Be Quiet affiliated online and physical stores. I hope this video is informational for you. For more videos, click on the subscribe button and follow my Facebook page. And see you in the next video.